Shalom family. Uh, welcome to this channel with me, Mambo Tilia. Um, today I want to talk to you guys about candles and colors, why we should have certain candles and certain colors, what they mean, so that we can kind of have a basic, you know, um, of things that we need to have in our homes, right? Um, one other thing I want to talk to you guys about is colors. Um, I know that, first of all, I want you guys to know that I do not wear makeup. And I'm not saying that I, because I want to bash anybody who does. I just personally don't wear it because um, it doesn't, I don't feel comfortable. Because I feel freer without the makeup. Because, you know, you guys know I'm always like that on my face. I'm always... You know, something always happen. And um, when I'm out, I wear lip gloss, yes. But when I'm out, you know, if I do this or if I happen to do this, if I'm wearing white, I don't want that to mess up. So, And, you know, when I used to model, I used to wear it so much, you know, just pack it on. I don't want to wear it because of that. So I don't wear makeup. And again, I'm not bashing anybody who does. I personally don't wear it. So... Those of you who thinks that I wear makeup, I do not wear makeup because I know that some people were like concerned or maybe it wasn't any concern. Maybe it was just, you know, curiosity. I don't wear makeup. Um, the other thing I want to talk to you guys about is blonde hair, blue eyes, green eyes, gray eye. Um, Gentiles, Caucasian people, they are they do not have a monopoly on those on those things. We have our own brothers and sisters who actually have blonde hair, blue eyes, green eyes, gray eye, and with dark skin. Some with lighter skin, but some have dark skin. Most of them have dark skin. So um I wouldn't um feel bad about that. I want to play this music because I really love this lady, and she she gave me she put me at peace when I play her. So I want to play her while we um communicate. And the other thing that the other thing that I want to talk about is um sometimes right now the spirits are coming back to us right our heritage our ancestors are coming back. So one thing that they want to do is to enter us. Be like they used to be back then. How do they do that? Well, they um, sometimes want certain things, right? They like certain things. Some of them, some we have we have so many different spirits. Some come seasonal, some come um, per for permanent, some come just temporarily, right? Like for example, I love this song. Like for example, Let's say um, every every spring you like to eat um, some fruit, a particular fruit. And if it's not in the spring, you would not eat it. That means that there's a spirit that walk with you who like that fruit and they want you to eat it, right? So you may wake up one day, you like, all of a sudden you want to change your hair color. Maybe you want to change it to red or maybe like a copper or honey blonde or blonde, I don't know. But for whatever it is, it, it means that there's a spirit that's walking with you who likes that color. And that spirit happened to be dominant and then there's something they want you to do. Um, um, and they don't want you to, either they want you to be loud so, so you can be heard or they want you to tone, you know, uh, to be toned down a little bit so you can be heard. So just because you loud doesn't mean people hear you. And just because you toned down doesn't mean that people don't hear you. Okay? So so let's get that out of our mind, right? So I want what I really want us to do is to start to lift up and let go of those ideas that we've been told for so long about what... Um, what colors mean and, and, and um, how we should behave, how we shouldn't behave, because we don't know. We're just now learning um, about 
who we are and what what comes with us, what the kind of type of power we have. And the spirits, the most high want to give us our powers back, but we it have to be in a clean house. It can't can't be with those um crazy um ideas or this uh, twisted mindset thinking that if somebody have this color, that means they have um, low self-esteem. I do not. I repeat, I do not have low self-esteem. I grew up in a household where low self-esteem was a bad word and a bad, ener bad energy. So it was never part of our makeup. Trust me. No low self-esteem. And I wear this color not because I'm trying to impress anybody or I'm trying to be like a white person. I'm being me. And I'm, I'm pleasing the spirits that who walks with me because a lot of the spirit who walks with me are underwater spirit. Underwater spirit um, like light colors. So you find a lot of people, even even red, you know, sometimes like copper, like a, um, a, like a um, kind of orangey, bright orangey. All the spirit are under color spirit. And that doesn't mean that they are bad. It just mean they just want you to be that way. It could be temporarily. And nothing really is permanent. Because you can get you can get something today and then you we only you we only supposed to have it for like maybe like perfect example with the um um uh prostate um cleanse, right? It's good for 10 years. It's not permanent. So that means you have to renew. So everything that you do spiritually, um, half of the time you have to renew things. And it's not because um, um, it's like, it, you know, it shouldn't be permanent or whatever. It just means that during that, that time, you have so many other spirit, that um, demonic spirit, evil spirit that's trying to attack and bring you down. They can't do it. But remember, if somebody keeps throwing rocks at you, they may not be able to kill you with the rocks, but they can hurt you, right? You get may, you may get bruised or get cuts, get things that you have to cleanse, you have to clean, you have to do stuff like that. So you have to um, maintain everything. You have to maintain it, right? So I want us to understand that um, the stuff that we learned from the um, Gentiles, we have to, the good, the things that told, they told us that was good, we have to do the opposite. Everything that they told us, we have to do the opposite of everything because everything they told us has been a lie. Whew, all praises to the Most High. Everything they have told us have been a lie. And we can't live a life like that anymore. We can't sit here and be okay with lies. And then and then we miss opportunities. How do we miss opportunities? We miss opportunities by... This thing. Uh -uh. We, we miss opportunities. Jeez. We miss opportunities by... We miss opportunities by um, ignoring, by um, telling um, them that we don't want to be part. We don't want them to be part of, um, we don't want to take it. We don't want to learn what they, what the Mosai is trying to give us. Oh, we close ourselves with those crazy ideas in our head about what should and shouldn't be. Therefore, when, oh. Uh, Therefore, when our father is trying to bring something to us, we close ourselves off because we're thinking that we're doing the right thing. I may need glasses for my glasses. It's kind of dirty. I may need some glasses to to get this. Um, maybe not. Okay, I, I, I don't think I do. Okay, so, I'll, you know, first I want to talk to you guys about what... Um, the um, numbers, numbers, the, um, you know, talk about magic numbers, right? So let's drink my tea. Oh, okay. And again, those of you who are taking the um, cell salt, every sign needs to have the 12 cell salt and one of your own cell salt because you need to take a little bit more of the cell salt that, that that's for your sign. And then you still need to take the other 12. So the, I mean, you still need to take the 12. So you basically need to take your uh, extra one of yours and then the um, 12 cell salt, okay? 
And the other thing that I want to say too is that, um, what was it? Um, wow. It just went out of my mind. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so numbers, right? So let we um the numbers I'm going to tell you guys about um is is very is important because um and also know that um Big Levi talk about the numbers and I'm think I, I think Abdullah Seer talk about the numbers and you guys can kind of see what uh, understand um add to the numbers sometimes and sometimes you can take away. Um last night I um, when I was thinking about, you know, preparing for me to do this video, one thing that I, um, something came to me and said, um, said seven is a, is a masculine number and eight is a feminine number. Right. So I'm all like, okay, um, maybe that's, maybe I'm, you know, missing something, but I'm the most high. Um, when I check and it says odd numbers are masculine and, uh, um, and even numbers are feminine. And because um, the odd numbers always have a point, like, you know, have like a point. When they say a point, they talk about a, uh, the odd numbers kind of like, like 13, you know what I mean? 13, um, um, uh, 11, you know, it's still kind of, when you look at it, you're looking at it like an arrow. And 14, like the four, that's like a, 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 a more of a um, flat surface, you know, I don't know. That's what I was told. So I'm just saying that's, that's what come, came to my head. So that, that's how they, they, sh the, you know, had me understand it. And also that they want to talk about that everything in life, everything you need is feminine, a feminine and masculine, right? In order for you to plug in something, you need the, you need the masculine, the, um, the male, to enter the female in order for it to work, right? Everything that we do when you cook, the pot is the female, the spoon is the male. Um, that's that's how it is. Our finger are the, the male, the male, and then the flat surface is the female. That's how things operate. We have to push a button, you know. I mean, it's just it's it's just amazing how things are just so so to the point that sometimes we allow um we allow people to confuse us and make us think otherwise. And I want you guys to um, be open and, and talk to the Most High and let the Most High lead you and show you what the Most High is trying, is talking about. Because a lot of time we get so confused and so um, this, we, we get so distraught and, and, and disoriented because we, we are busy listening to um, people who who don't know any more than we do, or maybe we may even know more than they do, right? Okay, so let's talk about numbers. Okay, um, this information is really interesting. They said they they also had talk about zero, right? They talk about zero, um, but I don't. I'm not going to talk about zero right now. Because, well, maybe I should kind of, because zero to me is kind of like a, a like a, 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 what is that, a, a, a blank canvas, but yet um, powerful at the same time. So um, we'll talk about zero maybe um, at the end. I'll try to remember to talk about zero. Let me see if I, um, let me see if I should, um, um. Okay, let's see. This number zero. Because I, I think that um we should get something like that, right? Okay, let's 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 go with the numbers. Okay, whoo! I'll praise it to the most high. Number one, 
Number one is the Lord is the Lord Jehovah Creator God in heaven. The Lord number one is the Lord Jehovah Creator God in heaven. Pretty interesting. Uh, number two is the beginning and the end, the dawn and dusk. Two ha two halves of one. Uh, Eve and Adam, mother and father, um, husband and wife, you know, a pair, couple, but it's also, um, it also a, um, a number that, you know, that's really important because, um, uh, when you have two people. You know, even in Ecclesiastic, it says that um, two is better than one. So um, the, uh, we can look out for each other. So um, number two is very is a very powerful number because it's kind of like um, you are um, you you look out for each other. You ha you have each other's back. You like you know you 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 um you like the um, the holder of one another. You know, and and there's no uh, extra, you know, and it's soft because it's a feminine energy. Oh, excuse me. Number three, there, there is the Trinity. Like we know how powerful number three is. Um, just in case, you know, if you have like the pyramid or, or, or try, um, triangle, or do you understand that it's really hard? Is 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 unbreakable? So three. Number three is the is the, the the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Um, three, um, you know, um, they said you know Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Uh, three um, are the nails. Three were the crown of the of the um, cog. Three um, harvest in the birth, death, and renewal. So number three is a very ooh, wow. What happened, you guys? I don't know. That's interesting. Everything seems like it's falling. I hope. Um, huh. Whew. Okay. I'm back. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> Welcome to our world, okay? I guess they don't want me to talk about that, huh? Number three is very powerful, okay? It's a very powerful number. Now, let's talk about number four. Oh, okay, wait. Okay, three is the, is the seed growth and the harvest and the, and the birth and death. Um, uh, death and renewal. So I guess that's that's what they didn't want me to to say. Okay, number four, the gospel. For is the in, uh, evangelist four season four wind four elements of nature the four uh, mighty letters of the name of of God the four corners the the four um. The um, forced uh, street uh, crossing; those are very powerful. Um, the when uh, the street when you have the four way four way um, street crossing, that's a powerful thing. So whenever you do your bath and um, you want to go drop it, make sure you drop it at either or three. You know a triangle. Um, intersection or a four corner intersection and um you are you know you make sure you pay the garbage can that's you dropping it you know in and um for you to go ahead and for them to take it so that's even a little bit more powerful okay what else the four does okay that's it number five Five is an interesting number because five also is like a um, 
is like a um, start over type of thing, a, a, um, a, a fresh start, like a, a um, some you know blessings, like some good blessings, some you know like um, someone is gonna. Uh, not so much someone, but something is gonna come for you. Something good is going is about to happen for you. Number five. Um, let's let's see. Okay, the book. Um, five are the books of of uh, the books of the Moses in the Bible. Five are the wound of of Christ of our, um of our brother J um Yahweh Shai. Five, um, the five joy of Mother Mary, five seed in an apple, five essence, which are the element plus spirit, five fingers on a hand, um, and toes. <laughs> um, so you guys, please do, do your research and find out more about those numbers. So I'm just giving you a general so you can go ahead and, and look more and pay more attention to what those numbers are. Maybe you, you may um, know some more information. If you do, please share with me. I'm open to that. You know, I don't know everything. I'm just um, bringing what the Most High tell me to bring to you. And um, I may not um, have the full thing, full um, information about it. So just kind of, you know, just let me know. I mean, I don't bite. I have a gap. My gap, I can't, I can't bite. Not that hard. Okay, um, six. Six are the day, six days of honest labor. Six are the points of the stars of the house of David. Six is the star of creation. Six is the micro microsom and uh, oh macrosom and microsom as above so as below six points on the uh maiden david um shield six point in the seal of solomon's ring and six point and the star of protection and remember for us Six is a is a a, a, a number uh, that make up or um, some of our genetic genetic genetically. So please look into that. Okay. Now we let's look at seven. Seven seven um, are the days of the week. Seven are great heavenly orbs are visible to the naked eye seven seven colors are in the rainbow um there are seven great powers and seven archangel before the the throne of of god and uh, there's also um uh, a candle and i think they have like um they have like a uh like some uh, perfume or some oil called the seven African powers. That's a very powerful thing. So seven is a very powerful number. Is um, you know perfect number. Uh, we know is the is the number of completion. We know that the the most size that's one of the most size favorite number. So yeah, so seven is a good one, right? Um, let's talk about eight. Eight. As we know, seven is a is a masculine, it is masculine and eight is feminine, right? So, like for example, if you want to have a masculine um, energy around your house, if you are um, a woman living alone, um, you can add certain things that are seven, like you know, maybe like a burn a seven day candle. Maybe you have some, um, some, um, the number seven or even, you know, any number, you know, like one, some, you know, something that, um, significant, significant, you guys know what I mean. I can't, uh, anyway, you know what I mean? A number that's going to, um, 
show like, you know, one or five or three, just so you can have that feminine and no, that masculine energy. And if you are male living by yourself to add some feminine energy, maybe you do two, eight, you know, those um, six, you know, just around the house, you just kind of put that energy in your stuff. Like if you making a, a cleanse or something, or if you're doing like, a, um, like, um, oil, different oils and stuff. So it's good to, um, it's good to kind of like, um, put, I, I don't know, <coughs> excuse me. It's just good to add feminine energy and masculine energy when you live in by yourself. It kind of balance you out. You know what I mean? It doesn't make you feel so, um, so alone and so one-sided. If you, you know, catch my drift. Okay, so number eight, uh, there are the eight point of star, of the star of redemption. Eight planets circle around the sun. Eight spokes turn on the wheels, the wheel. And eight is the number of regeneration and completeness. We know eight is new beginning. So all that is, is telling us complete completeness, re regeneration is new beginning, right? Okay, nine. Nine is the um, nine months of pregnancy. Nine is the number of the moon. Nine is the order of the angels. Nine are the days of prayers. Uh, nine is destruction for them. Good for us, right? Ten. Ten commandments of God. The ten plagues of the apocalypse. Ten are the number of, in a decade, of, of, of beads on a rosary. And ten are the fingers of the hand claps in prayer. Now, I wanted to talk to you guys about the rosary, right? So, I did do some research about the rosary. Because I wanted to talk about, I wanted us to um, kind of get an understanding about the ro rosary and where it comes from, right? So, I probably should bring that to do that on his own. But um, the rosary is not like what the Catholics do. do. We do have the rosary, but they are heal, um, healing beads, right? They prayer beads and healing beads. And they are made differently. They don't have the pictures of the those saints, um, so-called their, their people. But it does have a cross. You can put a cross or you can put the moon, a picture of the moon. You can put a pentacle. pentacle. You can put anything. I make prayer beads and, um, and, um, I don't use what, um, I don't have any with me right now, um, to show you. I should have brought one out, but I make prayer beads and I make prayer beads that goes to, um, specifically for that person, you know, what the struggles are, what it is that you want to overcome. Um, you, um, you, you pick the colors, you can pick your own colors and then some of them not, you know, they not, they 10, but they, they not like, you know, you, you make sure they is 10, 10 of them. You can just get 10 and then do the prayer nine times, but you pray into the most high, you, you, you send your prayers, you asking for things and you communicating with the most high. So it's not like the rosary. So I'll try to, try to do a one for the, um, for the rosary itself. A video so you 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 understand now 11 were the brothers of joseph 11 is the hour of work day 11 who is it where am i 11 is the hour of work day when the workers woke up late but still received payment 11 is is preparation for 11 is preparation for 12. <laughs> I don't know. I think there's more to 11. 
but we're just making it really simple. I wanted to make it simple because I want you guys to go and look for yourself and find out what 11, what those numbers are and how they resonate with you, how they communicate with you. 12. 12 um, are the apostles. Um, 12 are the sons of Jacob. 12 are the tribe of Israel. 12 are the uh, springs of um, Elam. 12 loaf um, offered on the golden table. 12 stars surround uh, okay what was I 12 yeah well, 12 surround the Madonna's head what is the Madonna heads had to do with anything that's not even a thing never mind don't worry about that the 12 constellation ring of the zodiac So, 12 is a very powerful number. So, please, people, please, 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 please do your due diligence and find out what 12, what those numbers mean to you, how they resonate. And if you know any more, please let me know. I'm just, I'm just fly by. I'm flying by with those numbers, with the, the uh, meaning just kind of like very simple, general, so you guys can, you know, go and look. Okay, now, to, uh, 13. 13 are... 13 are the Christ and his apostle. 13 are the attribute of God. The 13 is called uh, Theo. It's called Theophanicus. Theophanicus, which is the showing of God as the ep um, epiphany, 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 the epiphany. The epiphany is just 13 days after the nativity of the Lord Jesus. The Lord Jesus. We only have one Lord. That's the Most High. Jesus is Wahai Ashai, our brother. Anyway, Christ speak 13 tribes in the Gospel of St. John, beginning with I am, which is our Father, who I am that I am. 13 is the number originate, original state in the U.S. I don't know why they're saying that. 13 other. Well, maybe I should say that because they, they keep bringing it up. 13 stripes are on the U.S. flag. The U.S. one uh, $1 bill has 13 steps. On the pyramid, 13 stars above the eagle, 13 bars on the shield, 13 leaves on the olive branch, 13 fruit, the 13 arrows, and 13 is the image of the U.S. Now, why is 13 is the image of the U.S.? Because Jacob did have 13 children. Dinah. Dinah is a girl. They talking about the 13 tribe. They talking about the male. I mean the 12 tribe. They only they talking about the male. But remember that Jacob had 13 children and not 12. So the so the US knows something. The US knows something. That's why. Um, they keep using the 13. It's true. I'm, I know I didn't really want to read this stuff about the um, American flag. But when you think about it, everything is 13, 13, 13, 13. So they know something. There's something hitting there that we maybe we need to look into. If somebody can, you know, look into that, I'll try. I have a lot to do. But I'll try. And if somebody can look into that, I think that would be a good thing. Because it seemed like... Um, there's more to it than that, right? Okay. Okay, so I want I kind of want to stop there because I have some other stuff to talk to you about, to you guys about. 
because I, I, I want to talk to you guys about the colors because they're important, right? I don't want this video to be long. Okay, so let me, um, okay. Okay, so I don't want you guys to think um, that, like I said, not everything is permanent. Um, look at this as a, um, as a canvas where you, you, uh, you have a, um, 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 a blank canvas and then you get to, you know, put different colors into it. Right. So that, just look at it that way. White is peace. Red is victory. Uh, purple is also victory. Pink is love. Blue is protection. Um, yellow is money, green is money, brown or black is jinx, right? So, um, then, so those are the things that, um, like, for example, the century, the, um, the first, um, first set of, um, definition for colors, right? Then we have a second set. Where red for victory, pink for love, some say for drawing success, right? Yellow for money, blue for success and protection uh, for causing death also. Uh, white for peace and to uncross and for weddings. Lavender to cause harm to bring triumph also. Brown for drawing money and people. Remember, there's always a good and a bad side to everything. So you can use it for good. You can use it for bad, right? Black always for evil or death. So now we're talking about uh, uh, the third definition of, um, of color. Definition of colors, right? Whew. Okay. Let's talk about. Red, um, red, love spell, affection, passion, um, bodily vigor, pink, attraction, romance, clean living, orange, change of plan, opening the way, uh, prophetic dreams, yellow, devotion, prayers, money, goal, uh, uh, cheerful cheerfulness attraction green money spells gambling luck business a good job good crops blue peace harmony joy kind kind kindly intentions uh, and healing white spiritual blessing purity healing and um, healing and rest purple Mastery, power, ambition, control, command, royalty. Brown, court case uh, spells. Um, oh, neutrality, neutrality. Black, so brown is kind of like a neutral thing. You can use it to, um, let's say you want to uh, make a... Um, you want to make a, you want to wait for something, but you don't want to be too eager. And while you're waiting for that, you're praying, you, like, let's say you want uh, success in the court case and, um, and you want a certain amount of money or whatever. And because, you know, if you're too eager, sometimes that could, you know, mess you up if you're too, if you're too um, negative, you know. So you have to be neutral. So if you're waiting for something and you need to be neutral and you um, you know, you don't need to be too negative and too positive. So burning a brown candle could help you stay neutral. So that way you can wait. Okay. Black repulsion, repulsion dark thoughts, sorrow, freedom from evil. You see how okay, so so they they have changed the color they have changed the meaning of colors every it seemed like every decade they change the color, right? 
they change the colors, the meaning of the colors. Red and black, double action, remove a love jinx spell. White and black, double action to return evil to the sender. Um, green and black, double action, remove um, money jinx, jinxing. So if somebody do something for you not to have money or someone um, do something for you to fall in love with, um, with, um, to fall in love with them or do something against your will, you can use those to remove that, right? So now this is this is the uh, more um, this is what I love the most about these. This is the um, the more of a broad uh, meaning of those colors. Red, red is life, love, sex. Courage, energy, strength, health, impul impulsive theory, willpower, con concept, vitality, ma magnetism, 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 pink, affection. Service, love, honor, spiritual awakening, usefulness, uh, leadership, uh, diplomacy, femininity. Orange, joy, enthusiasm, friendship, attraction, uh, stimulation, self-control, adaptability, intellect, receptive, um, organization. Yellow. Unity, success, universal love, active, creativity, action, develop occult powers, invoke spirits, inspiration, concentration. Green, abundance, cooperation, generosity. Fertility, success, luck, money, ambition, greed, envy, peace, harmony, health, healing. So you basically can use these for good or bad. So there's no such good, bad. It's just neutral. Okay, blue. Did I do blue? No, blue. Blue, truth, health, inspiration, wisdom, and morality, loyalty, serenity, oh no, serenity, 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 uh, sincerity, devotion, kindness, patient, fidelity, honesty, peace, harmony in the home. So that's blue. Um, white, purity, truth, sincerity, spirituality, wholes, wholeness, uh, generosity, expansion, outgoing, cleansing, respect, innocent, prophecy, clairvoyance, purple, dignity, ambition, idealism, wisdom, <coughs> psychic abilities, <clears throat> power, progress, independence, protection, pride, honor, royalty. Remember, those candles, when you use those colors and the candles, um, if you lack those some of those things, um, you can also ask for them to, to be some, the, some gifts, some abilities that you want to have. And then you may have them and don't realize you have them, so you can also burn it, the candles to make sure that um, that you have them. You know what I mean? You can recognize them. Okay. Brown. Balance. Again, neutral. Concentration. And decision. Telepathic. Power. Study. Intuition. Communication. Uh, earthiness. Uh, thrift. Black. Evil. Loss. Adversity, protection from evil spirit, shield from the evil eye, 
repel black magic. Okay, so this is another set. Okay, you guys, um, I also, when I talk about the candles and the colors, I would also talk about how, um, um, like the type of candle you should have, the size and the different colors and, and, and stuff, right? Red, passion, victory, victor, sexual um, spell. Um, pink, love, reconciliation, romance, clean, healthy living. Orange, um, open roads, remove blockage, marriage change, change, marriage change. You know, like marriage and then change. So it's not marriage change. So you basically, if you have an issues with marriage or if you want to get married, you can do um, orange candle. That would help. Yellow, success, attraction, money, gold. Green, luck, money, magic, gambling, spell, business, employment, good um, crops. Prote um, blue protection, healing, harmony, peace. White, spiritual blessing, peace, and purity. Purple, mastery, rulership, ambition, power, control, command, victory, royalty. Brown, court, court case, um, spells, uh, paper color for magic, neutral. Uh, black, jinx, mourning, removing he he hex, hexes, and cross, cross condition. Okay, so let's look at the um, the colors and the psalms that, that that goes with those colors, right? Okay, so blue. So the psalm that goes with blue is three. Healing, um, severe headaches, or um, backache. So if you're having those problems, you, you, you get a um, blue candle. And you read the Psalm 3, and then it would help heal to heal the uh, severe headaches or back pain. Green, Psalms 4, um, break, uh, bringing good luck. Green, Psalm 4, needing financial or, or real capital for one's business, okay? So Psalm 4 is, um, is green. You can, uh, when you burn a green candle, you can read Psalms 4, and it will bring good luck. Um, um, if you need financial, financial assistant or, um, capital for your, for your business. Purple, Psalms 5 is good for, pur for, um, um, with purple, uh, favorable outcome for dealing with the government and, uh, bureaucracy authorities. Brown, five, you can do a, a brown candle and then say this, uh, Psalm 5 successful court case outcome blue um some six healing eyes um uh, uh purple you can read um some seven breaking hex blue some nine ready for a uh, remedy for a sick child so if a child is sick you can write a um burn a blue candle and you read some nine Purple, you can read Psalm 9 um, against the power and the uh, malignant dignity of enemies. Um, per you can do purple in Psalm 11 and 12, protection from oppression and persecution. Pink, Psalm 14, gain trust and favor. Purple, Psalms 14, protection from corrupt fools. Purple, Psalm 17, protection from, protection during travel. Purple, Psalm 17, no, I, I said that. Uh, purple, Psalm 22, protection from storms and the elements. Purple, Psalm 22, repelling uh, terrestrial danger. White, Psalm 23, blessing and benef bene beneficent work. Blue, Psalm 23, divination and dreams. Green, Psalm 26, employment. Purple, Psalm 29, empowering through the words. 
purple, some 29, overcoming troubles, troublesome spirits. Purple, some 30, safety from evil. Red, some 40, make God, make good wishes come true. Red, some 40, make good wishes come true. Red or pink, some 45, bring love and passion. Pink or um, red or pink, Psalms 45, restore love, romance, and peace between a husband and wife. White, Psalm 51, cleansing and purification, purifying. Purple, Psalm 52, uh, freeing oneself from slender, like when somebody talk bad about you. Um, purple, Psalm 52, Oh yeah, free him from stuff from oh, from slender. Okay, um, slander, not slender, slender. Green Psalms sixty one blessing blessing when move when moving to a new home. So when you move to a new home, um um, I light a, a green candle and um say the sixty one Psalm sixty one green Psalm sixty four. Uh, health, health food, uh, sea voyage. So if you've um, taken a cruise or something, um, you should uh, uh, light a green candle and say Psalm um, 64. Green, Psalm 65, blessing and luck and new endeavors. Um, green, Psalm 72, gain prosperity and happiness with others. Pink, Psalm 85, restoring peace between two friends. Purple, Psalms 90, overcoming wild animals. Um, where was I? Okay, uh, purple, Psalm 90, protection and one's dwelling. Purple or brown, 90, overcoming evil influences. Purple, Psalms 91, triumph in legal case, court cases. Purple or red, Psalm 100, overcome all enemies. Psalm, uh, purple, Psalm 101, learning to break bad habits and behave wisely. Red or blue, Psalm 102, against a uh, grievous of, um, affliction. Red, Psalm um, 103, healing and renewal. Purple, Psalm 111, charming and lovable. Uh, purple, Psalm 112, increasing in might and power. Blue, Psalm um, 112, 13, develop self tr tranquility and harmony. Green, Psalm 114, drawing success in business. Green, Psalm 114, attract luck while gambling. Purple, Psalms uh, 116, protection from violent or sudden death. Purple, Psalms 116, 16 to 17, safety from an, uh, prison, imprisonment. Blue or green, Psalms 119, help in speaking with someone about a financial dispute. Purple, Psalm 121, safe, um, safe travel after dark. Purple, Psalm 126, protection for newborns. Purple, Psalms 127, uh, protect children. Psalms 129, empowerment against oppression. Um, blue, Psalm 142, relieving pain in legs, thighs, and hips. Blue, 146, curing a wound or wound requiring surgery. White, Psalm 150, praise and thanksgiving. Red, Psalm 150, turning sadness into glee. Okay, so I hope that the um, those help you with the candles. So let's talk about the candles that you should have. The candles that you should have in your house, you should, everybody should have a mixture of candle. You should have small candles, you have you should have like candles like birthday um 
small birthday candles, a little little one. You have the tea um, candles. You should have a array of size of candle at your house. And you should have different colors. You should have like double colors. And you should have, um, you should have wait, wait, double colors. Uh, colors. You should have some rainbow one, rainbow color candles, okay? And um, when you're burning your candles, you should never burn a candle without, it doesn't matter what candle it is, except for white. If you burn any other color candle, you should um, burn a white candle, but the white candle should be a, like a tea. See those tea, cut, tea, um, tea candles, okay? So if you want something to move fast, so you use the shortest candle that you have, the smallest candle you have, okay? If something is, you know, is going to take longer, then you, you do the seven days, you do longer candles, right? The point is, when you burn the candle, you want it to go as fast as they can for this, depending on the situation, right? So if you're looking for some quick cash or quick answers or quick something quick, then you 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 burn small candles, okay? So you can do the tea tea candles, or you can do the small birthday candles, or you can cut, or uh, you know those um, taper candles. You can cut them into small, so they can um, burn fast. But remember, you always have to do the charge your candles, you know. Um, except for the you know the tea and the other stuff, you can charge it by speaking on it, right? And um, it's good to have those different candles. So if you're burning candles, if you don't have a white candle for that blue candle, then get a glass of water. Because what, what, what that does, even when you have a white candle, you should have a glass of water. It makes it the water, the glass of water assists it to be clearer to you. So you can have a clear understanding of what, um, what the answer is, right? I have a glass of water by my candles. It doesn't have to be by the candle. You can have it, you know, in one room and you burn in the candle in another room. The point is you are trying to get, you are trying to get the candles to, um, to, um, to speak to you and, and, um, to give you a clear message. But sometimes you can't get it, but the glass of water, the clear, clear glass, okay? It has to be a clear glass so you can see through it, okay? So then that means that you can see, you can get the answer clearly, right? And I know um, you guys hear that before, but remember those candles and the colors, they are very important. Colors are very important. Sometimes you may find yourself wanting to wear a certain color. Don't feel bad about it. Don't reject it. Oh, I don't like that color. It's your spirit calling for those colors. Remember those spirits, are, there's spirits out there. There's good and bad spirits are out there. And those spirits are, are looking to come back to us, right? So one day you may feel like you want to wear certain colors. Don't throw it out. Don't throw it out because you like, oh, I don't like that color. It's not about what you like. It's about what needs to be because there's something that they're trying to protect you from or something they're trying to bring to you because, because I don't know how to explain this, but some spirit speak, they have their own language, right? And some colors may be offensive to some. Some may 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 be um may be a, a, a good thing for them, right? Some colors attract them. Some colors don't attract them. It depends on the spirit, and it depends on where you are. So be open, open your heart, your mind, so you can receive the gifts that the Most High is trying to give you. And don't close your mind just because you don't. I don't know how to say this, but I feel like um, if the Most High send uh, the real Wahayashai or brother, and he looks, he have you know blonde hair, dark skin like me, and he have green eyes or maybe blue eyes or gray eyes, and he's the real um, Wahayashai or real brother, he comes to you say, "I'm your real brother," and then here comes somebody that have dreads, dark skin, dreads. He looked like, you know, what they said that we're supposed to look like. 
you would totally ignore the guy because he had blonde hair and, and, and blue eyes. And, oh, he's trying to be white. He he, he have low self-esteem. He's not the real Wahia Shai. He's the real one. And when he's the fake. So so stop looking at color so much and, and the appearance of people. L listen to what the Mosai is trying to tell you. You have to be open. You have to see. You have to understand what is being said to you. Because it's important. We are in a fight of our lives, people. Things are coming and they are changing. They are changing um, position. Don't attack people because you don't like what they say. Pray about it. You may not hear it. There's a spirit out there that make, that confuses you. You can Somebody could say something and you hear something different. It may not even be what you think you, of the person you heard. So to make it clear, stop assuming, just ask questions, ask the most high. Because if we don't do that, we're going, we are, we doom. The spirit, they just waiting. Some of them want to, to, to host you. They want to be with you and help you thrive and help you deal with the gifts that's coming. But if you, if you like, ah, oh, no, nah, I'm good. Then what you going to do? Oh, call us to pray for you. My brothers and sisters, I love you. I do. The um our ancestors and the, our angel and the spirit guys, they love you so much. Our father loves you even more. He wants us to get to receive those gifts. Things are changing. Justice is here for those who have been in jest done treat it so we have to be smart we have to be open we have to um, be able to see what the Mosa is trying to tell us forget about everybody else you know everybody else that you know ow, ow, ow. <laughs> oh my leg my leg my leg but listen we gotta do better. Okay, um, if you have any question about the candles, I don't know what I'm forgetting. I'm probably forgetting something. Um, if you have any question about the candles, let me know. Um, we, um, the candles, um, I want to do another video about the, the, um, like when you see twins flame, what it means. If, um, the different, um, if you see black smoke, black stew, um, white stew, gray stew, or Whatever, um, how the candle is burning, if he's broken, whatever. I want to talk to you guys about what that means, okay? I want to talk to you guys about what that means. So, um, yeah, so I'll do another video about that so you guys can kind of understand what it means, the di different things about the candles and, and more. And um, I want to talk about... Um, um, our eating habit have to also change um, because some of the, the diets that we have is creating um, issues for us, um, is, um, is uh, creating problem with, you know, hair growth, uh, excess um, hair growth places where it shouldn't, and um, excess fat. So we need to talk about that. So I want to bring videos about different things and, and things like that. I know I'm slow about it, but I only go when the, when the father tell me to go. So please bear with me. But if you guys have any ideas, please. I, I received some of your emails. Some of your emails I can't get for some reason. Um, they either go to junk mail. So if, if that's the case, please just keep emailing me because I know it sounds kind of messed up. But I don't know why they're not, you know... It's hard for me to get them. So I had to go um, many times. I had to go to the junk file to find to find um, emails. So please. Okay, you guys. Thank you so much for um, watching. I look forward to the, doing the next video about um, the um, food. And um, I think I have the um, cell salt. And then I have... Um, the candles, um, the reading to help you guys understand that. Okay. Ciao, my lovelies. Shalom.